Well, working for yourself has often been a path to success in this country. We are elevating Latino voices tonight and learning how a food tasting event at the National Western Event Center is helping small food businesses connect to bigger opportunities. The Center for Community Wealth Building invited anchor institutions such as cities, colleges, hospitals and museums to taste samples and get to know local food vendors. The goal is to build relationships and trust so that large contracts can help support local businesses as well as local hiring and investment. And we caught up with one food entrepreneur who is already reaping the rewards of this approach. Alejandro Flores Munoz loves sharing the delicious flavors of real Mexican street food. Cooking up ingredients for tacos, he's confident you'll crave. And increasingly, Flores Munoz and his team are cooking for larger and larger crowds and signing six-figure catering contracts. I aspire to be able to showcase that entrepreneurship is a viable option for folks to build generational wealth in this country. One of the things that I learned, Flores Munoz now guides other small business owners on TikTok. Another thing I would have done early on is making sure that I have multiple concepts. He credits connections he's made to contracts with institutions like Meow Wolf or the city of Denver and the guidance that he's received from the Center for Community Wealth Building. I don't have to just rely on my food truck, that there are institutions that have events, meetings, galas all the time. And why not us be the caterers for those events rather than the big corporations that we all know of? Jessica Olguin founded the center, and she spent the last several years working to convince large institutions around Denver to break the mold by giving minority businesses a chance. This is not about charity. This is about doing business and just doing business in a different way that actually focuses on our local businesses and ensuring that we're supporting them. For Olguin, the greatest satisfaction is seeing business people like Flores as Munoz win bigger contracts, hire new staff, or acquire property. Because I think all of these institutions have our community's well-being in mind. It's just how do we align that sense of, of mission with the business operations. Olguin says the talent is here, and when business people like Flores Munoz are given a shot, magic happens. And she hopes the local community starts to build wealth. Having wealth is not just mean having money. It means having time to spend with your kids. It means being able to grow up in a community that is working for everyone. And Flores Munoz adds it compels him to engage in the community and pay it forward. That looks so good. I was just too. thinking right, that. Mouth is watering. Oh, yes. Fantastic. Need some of that for dinner. <laughs> Thanks for sharing that, Michael.